He is known for overseeing the construction of the Pentagon and directing the Manhattan Project. He was involved in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. His name is Leslie Groves. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, Leslie Richard Groves Jr., an army engineer whose contributions during World War II were nothing short of extraordinary. Born into a military family, Groves' dedication to duty was evident from a young age. After graduating from West Point, he embarked on a series of assignments that showcased his leadership abilities and attention to detail. In 1941, he was tasked with overseeing the construction of the Pentagon, a massive undertaking that would become the nerve center of the War Department. Groves' reputation as a doer and a stickler for duty earned him the opportunity of a lifetime. In September 1942, Groves was thrust into a new role that would forever shape his legacy. He was appointed to lead the Manhattan Project, a top-secret research endeavor aimed at developing the atomic bomb. Groves played a pivotal role in every aspect of the project, from selecting research and production sites to acquiring the necessary materials. His leadership and decision-making skills were put to the test as he oversaw the construction of facilities at Oak Ridge, Los Alamos, and Hanford. Despite the intense pressure and challenges, Groves wrapped the project in a cloak of security, ensuring its success. However, the story of Leslie Groves goes beyond the Manhattan Project. After the war, he continued to play a crucial role in the military's control of nuclear weapons. As the head of the Armed Forces Special Weapons Project, Groves navigated the complex military aspects of nuclear weapons. Despite facing criticism and setbacks, his dedication to duty remained unwavering. Promoted to Lieutenant General in recognition of his leadership, Groves retired from the Army in 1948 but continued to make significant contributions to the field of technology as a Vice President at Sperry Rand. Leslie Richard Groves Jr.'s life is a testament to the power of leadership and dedication. From overseeing the construction of the Pentagon to leading the development of the atomic bomb, his contributions during World War II changed the course of history. Groves' unwavering commitment to duty and his ability to navigate complex challenges make him a legendary figure in the annals of military history. His legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact that individuals can have on shaping the world. In the midst of World War II, Leslie Groves found himself at the helm of a groundbreaking project that would change the course of history. Tasked with developing an atomic bomb, Groves' leadership and determination would soon become instrumental in the success of the Manhattan Project. Despite his lack of experience in leading large projects, Groves' extensive knowledge and practical design skills made him the perfect choice for the job. To ensure security and efficiency, Groves and his team decided to establish a centralized research laboratory in a remote location. They settled on a flat mesa near Santa Fe, New Mexico, close to Groves' own ranch. This became the Los Alamos Laboratory, where some of the brightest minds of the time gathered to work on the project. Groves referred to these brilliant scientists as his esteemed luminaries. However, amidst the progress, anxiety started to grip the scientists. There were growing concerns that the Germans might be ahead in developing an atomic weapon. Groves, in a letter to physicist Enrico Fermi, even contemplated drastic measures, such as poisoning German food supplies, to hinder their progress. The urgency of their mission was undeniable. Groves' decision to appoint J. Robert Oppenheimer as the head of the Los Alamos laboratory was met with skepticism. Oppenheimer, a physicist from the University of California, Berkeley, lacked administrative experience and did not have a Nobel Prize like other potential candidates. There were also concerns about his communist connections. However, Groves saw in Oppenheimer an unmatched ambition and broad knowledge, crucial for the interdisciplinary nature of the project. Despite the doubts, Groves' faith in Oppenheimer proved to be well-founded. Oppenheimer's inspirational leadership and practical approach propelled the project forward. Groves' decision to waive the security requirements and issue Oppenheimer a clearance showcased his belief in the physicists' abilities. Ultimately, Groves' strategic decisions and unwavering determination played a pivotal role in the success of the Manhattan Project. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.